Today is all about what is in my hospital bag. Hi you guys, welcome back to Poppins Approved. I am so excited to be finally filming this video. All my kids so far have come one week early, so I feel like it's time that I get the hospital bag ready, just in case, because you know every baby's different. But I'm 37 weeks, so I have a couple weeks left until I'm guessing this baby will come. So I wanted to share with you what I'm packing in my hospital bag. I tried to keep it pretty minimal, because usually they have everything pretty much there for you. The bag I'm going to be bringing is actually um, from Jujubee. It's the Jujubee Super Bee. Um, this is an awesome duffel bag. It's such a good size. I actually have attached the um, messenger strap here. This is something that you purchase separately, but it's so cute. I love the black detail on the sides here with the gold hardware. This is the Wildcat print. It's so fun. It's a really nice kind of peachy pink color. Perfect for weekend trips, overnight trips, um, and especially trips to the hospital. In the front here, you do have a zippered pocket it goes all the way down to the base of the bag so it's a pretty nice front pocket this is the perfect place to hold my cell phone i also have thrown in my wallet this is a um, coffee break wallet from jujubee as well it's a really pretty um vegan leather wallet perfect just to hold the main essentials that you're gonna need like your insurance cards and your ID. I also have in here some earbuds because um, I might wanna listen to music or something while in labor or after, I don't know. Just bringing them just in case and then I have to have a mask, so I'm bringing my mask with me. On the back you also have a pocket. I'm not keeping anything in here at the moment, but there are two snaps here and it's a nice like thin, slim pocket and I think this is gonna be perfect for um, putting the paperwork that they give you when you are leaving the hospital. So um, I think it comes in like a folder, so I'll just like stick the folder and any other paperwork and stuff right here in the back. The last pocket that you have on the outside is this um, kind of square shaped pocket. It opens up, it actually goes into the bag, um, but I kind of stuffed the bag full, so I'm not utilizing this pocket right now. But it's perfect for like shoes or maybe like um, a curling iron or hair stuff. You could slide in there really Really easily and keep it separate from the interior. I'm planning on just whatever shoes I wear in are the shoes I'm gonna wear out. So I don't have shoes packed in here. I'll just wear whatever's on my feet when I go into labor. Okay, zoomed in a little bit here for you to show you how this bag opens up. You have a double zipper, which is great, and it has this really nice rectangular shaped opening that you can just fold that top over and see everything in there nice and easily. The first thing I have on top is my toiletries case. Now, I I always have this packed up so it was really easy for me to just grab this and throw it into my bag I like this one because it's nice and slim so it fits just easily right on top or if you wanted to stick it in the back um, this one has been working great for me for years it's from eBags I forget the name of it but I'm sure if you search on eBags um, this will be one of their toiletry kits that comes up let me just show you how it opens really quick because this has come in handy a lot of times for me. This opens up like this and you do have a hook here so you can hang this um, from somewhere. So if you don't have a lot of counter space, this does come in really handy. There's a little mirror at the top. In here I have some different hair accessories. I also have some, some Q-tips. Um, I have a hairbrush in here, some face wash. I have some Billy face wipes because I think these are gonna be really handy when I just wanna wipe my face off and I don't want to spend the time to like get out of bed and actually wash my face. And these actually have triple hyaluronic acid and then also some vitamin C serum in them. And I these are my favorite by far face wipes that I've ever used. They're awesome. I also just have some other random stuff I always keep in here like eye drops. I won't be needing this, um, but always some wrinkle release is in there. So it's just stuff that I always keep in here. And then more hair clips and hair ties down here in this zippered pocket. Then you have a kind of bigger section right here where I usually keep um, my Billy razor. I'm not gonna need that this time, so I'm not even worried about bringing that. I also have some travel size shampoo and conditioner. Then you have two smaller sections on this side. In here, I'm keeping some um, Laneige, and who knows if I'm saying that right, but 
some Laneige um, lip sleeping mask. I love this for my lips. It's so hydrating, it feels so good. So definitely bringing that. And then I also have some toothpaste and a toothbrush in here as well. In the last pocket, I am keeping a Dove Invisible Dry Deodorant Spray and it fits really perfectly inside of that very last pocket. Now onto some um, more toiletries over here. I do have some dry shampoo for obvious reasons in case um, I don't end up being able to take a shower or something and I just wanna refresh my hair a little bit. Um, dry shampoo is always good. Then I do have a medium set piece here and this is keeping some of the um, Merit makeup. So I usually don't put on any makeup when I'm in the hospital, especially this time no one's gonna be able to come really see me and so I'm not going to worry too much about it, but if we do want to take some pictures or something, I have a whole video on the Merit makeup line. It's only like six or seven products in here where you can do a really minimal kind of face look. So I will link that video down below if you guys are interested in Merit, but it'll be a really great way just to make my face look a little bit better for some pictures with the baby. But honestly, I might not even use it. We'll see what happens. Next thing I have is a whole set of um, packing cases or packing cubes. These are from Amazon. They're really cheap on Amazon. It comes with like seven pouches, I believe. This smaller one I am using for um, all of my like electronic stuff. So I have a phone charger in here. I also have an extra charger for my battery for my camera. I'm gonna have my husband bring the camera in his bag with a tripod probably, but I'll have the extra battery in here. And then I also have the external charger for my phone in case the plug is a little bit far away or something, this will be nice to charge my phone. Um, next, just tucked kind of in the front, I do have this little pouch that came with it. This is perfect for any dirty or like soiled clothes. So I'll just leave that in there just in case I have dirty clothes that I wanna throw in here and keep separate. Now I really like that on this bag, they have not done the mesh front because it's meant to be like for your underwear and your bras and stuff. So. Right here you can see most of them have the mesh so you can see them, but this one, if you have things that you don't wanna be seen um, really easily, you can use this one for that. So in here, I am keeping some socks. I usually just wear the ones that the hospital gives you, um, but just in case, I have some socks in here. I also have a nursing bra. This one is from Auden, I believe. I've heard this is a really great brand, so I'm excited to try it out. So I have the nursing bra, and then I also have a nursing tank top, just in case I just wanna wear the tank. If I'm warm or anything, I'll probably be cold, honestly, in the hospital, but just in case. Um, I also have some high-waisted black underwear that way. If the ones that they give you at the hospital are too um, loose or something, it, these, would be these will be nice to like hold everything tightly because you have a lot of stuff after you give birth, like the big huge pads and stuff. So that's also why I chose black because if anything gets on it, it'll easily wash out. I also have down at the bottom here a belly bandit. Now I've had this forever since probably my second child. So it's been like almost eight years that I've had this thing. They do have cheaper versions of the belly bandit now. I will link one down in the description box below. I just want that to have some back support. I've noticed that with my other births, you just have no like stomach muscles and your back muscles are really weak. So it's not to just like push your belly down and make you make you go back to normal faster. It's to help give you support for your back so that you're not super uncomfortable when you're sitting in those hospital beds. So that's everything I had in this one. Now I have the cute little one for baby girl. Let me just show you a few things. You don't need much for baby because they have everything you need for the baby. But again, if we wanna take some cute pictures, I brought some different options. Um, I have a cute little hat here, um, this adorable <laughs> fun bow, and then it could wear that with this super sweet pink um, swaddle here. It's just a nice little swaddle blanket. They do have swaddle blankets at the hospital, but they're not super cute. So I brought a couple of options for swaddle blankets. This one is actually from Itsy Ritzy. It's a really cute floral pattern there. I did bring one little onesie um, just in case. I don't think I'll need this, but just a plain little long sleeve onesie there. And then this is her going home outfit. Sweet little pink bow and cute blue and pink outfit. I like that this one covers up her feet and it will also um, have these 
pieces here to cover up her hands so she doesn't scratch herself on accident. I also threw in here a pacifier and a pacifier clip. These are really cute from Itsy Ritzy. They do have pacifiers for you at the hospital, but if I can get her to take these cute ones that I have, then we'll do this. Okay, so pouch for baby. Just tucked off to the side here, I do have a Jujube Be Quick. Now this is in the catwalk print, and on the inside of this, I am keeping a whole entire Super B um, in the same print. It's the same catwalk print. And the reason why I'm keeping a Super B in here is because they give you a lot of stuff to go home with, like diapers and wipes and tons of just random stuff. So let me just pop this out here so that you can get a better look at the size of this. Look, it's a whole another tote bag that I can fit all of that into. It'll just be easier to take everything out to the car if I have something like this with me. Okay, I have one more packing cube down here at the base of the bag. Now you can see the interior a little bit better here. It's kind of a nice fun peach color and you can see this is from this side pocket that I was telling you about where you could put um, your shoes and things into. But anyways, it's a nice big space. I love that um, this biggest packing cube here fits perfectly on the bottom and kind of creates a nice um, base for the bag because as you can see, it's really nice and lightweight and folds up easy. You can also throw this into the washing machine, which is so awesome and I love that feature from Jujubee. So in this biggest piece here, I'm keeping things like my going home outfit, and just some comfy clothes just in case I want them if I don't wanna wear the hospital gown the whole time. This one is a beautiful house dress. I found this on Amazon and it's cheaper than some of the other house dresses I was looking at. Um, it does have pockets, it's a nice long length. It has these buttons here so that I can easily nurse and it's just nice and soft and comfortable. So I could wear this in the hospital um, if I want to or I could also just wear it as my going home outfit if I want to. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna wanna wear but usually in the past I have worn some kind of dress home just cause then nothing is like on my stomach. My other option is um, this like comfy pair of just black leggings. They're the maternity ones, so it's still gonna fit nicely on my belly. And then I would wear my black nursing tank under this here, which is a nice soft kind of sweater. It has the deep V there, so it crisscrosses in the front, so it'll be really easy to nurse in this and nice and warm since I am having her in winter time. It'll probably be cold outside, so it'll be nice to have that little sweater option. Then over here, I have my robe from Mina Bay. This robe is so pretty, it's gorgeous. Actually, let me show you what it looks like. Obviously, I just have regular clothes on right now, but I'll throw it on for you anyways to show you how pretty the front is. And the, I just love how like drapey and pretty the front is. You have a tie right here. This also might look a little weird because I do have such a big belly right now. <laughs> but tie that right there and then cross it over and you have your normal tie. But then if you can see, it's hard to tell because it is black, but you have this fun drapey look here. It's nice and soft, it's long. It does have pockets, so it's really comfortable. I love this robe from Mina Bay. I'll be sure to link it down below so you guys can check it out. But I think this is gonna be perfect if I'm cold or something, or if I just want to wear my nursing bra and just the robe then I have lots of different options. Okay, so that is how I had my hospital bag all packed up from Jujube. If you guys have any questions about this bag, please let me know down in the um, comments below. I'd be happy to answer those for you, but it's just a great size bag. It fits so much in it, and I love that you're starting with something that weighs hardly anything. It's so lightweight. Even when I put all that stuff in there, it doesn't weigh me down too much, and I don't feel like I'm bringing a ginormous bag to the hospital with me. I love how this packs up. It's going to be absolutely perfect, and now we are just waiting on baby girl to get here. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's review, and I will see you very soon in my next one.